Hi, my name is Corbin Pacheco and I am Senior Director of Product Marketing for D2IQ. In this video, I'm going to deploy multiple Kubernetes clusters on multi-cloud infrastructure. Most organizations will have some form of hybrid infrastructure, and for simplicity, I will be using AWS and Azure. To do this, I will leverage D2IQ Commander, which gives me a single control plane for managing multiple clusters. Commander has a rich set of features for multi-cluster management, centralized monitoring, security governance, and cost management. We will look at some of those other features in a future video. I will start by creating a Commander workspace. Workspaces is an organizational concept at which the administrator can govern access. I will configure cloud credentials which are used to authenticate to and automate the deployment of cluster infrastructure. And finally, I will deploy clusters to both AWS and Azure. Let's get started. To get started, I've logged into Commander as a platform administrator. I'm gonna start by creating a new workspace. For this demo, we will call it Dev Hybrid. Once in the workspace, as you can see, Dev Hybrid, I will set up my cloud credentials. Since Commander is built for multi-tenancy, these credentials are workspace specific. I need credentials for both AWS and Azure. For AWS, I will specify an ARN, and for Azure, my subscription details. With that setup complete, it is now time to build my clusters. I have some options to configure node pools, machine types, my Kubernetes version. I'm going to choose a region and keep the rest of, of the defaults. I'm going to create my Azure cluster as well. As the clusters are provisioning, I can take a look at the running logs. The logs will automatically refresh every five seconds. Both of my clusters are up, so let's log into one of them. 
I'm going to download the cube config file. Okay, looks like my cluster is now up and running. Okay, so I was able to create a commander workspace for my clusters, configure my cloud provider credentials and deploy clusters in both AWS and Azure from a single control plane. For next steps, please visit the docs, learn more with upcoming workshops and read our blog. Thanks for watching.